the Massachusetts Golf Association hosted course raiders from around the state and New England. The USGA's Eric Lehman answering questions, providing insight, and setting up the course particulars for the Raiders to get some on-course experience. The three options would be soft, average, or firm, right? So we're picking average for this golf course, which is probably what you would use for the majority of your golf courses, okay? We are going to rate for men, and we're going to use the two to three inch cool season rough column. Again, these are assumptions. This is a par three golf course. So the first couple holes we're gonna rate, we sort of develop magic tees. Basically where the tee starts, you could just ignore those obstacles that got you to that point. So in other words, we're trying to say maybe a ball's in the air once you get to the tee, but then just rate from the tee forward. So ignore the obstacles that are behind the tee. These would be the conditions that it would exist for the month of July or when most rounds are played on this golf course. Then it was time to hit the course put that subscript in to tell him why we took one off. And so that subscript here is, in this case, N. And of course, the answers on the course aren't all black and white. Scratch player adjustment. <sighs> here we go okay. again. Okay, here we go again. <laughs> yes, no, we don't know. Go to the next hole. Good work. Scott Whitcomb from the Massachusetts Golf Association adding on-course insight. Anything, any obstacles that are behind the green, bunkers that sit on the backside of greens or OB or water hazards that might be 20 or 30 yards or 60 yards past the green, those would have some factors and that's all in the book. So when you're coming in for, for playing golf in a USGA championship or an MGA championship, when we give you the square circumference of the green, we box it out and we say it's 30 yards this way and it's whatever and then, then we can put the whole location in. For when we're rating and getting the size of greens, it is the best way to do it is to find the middle of it this way. Make sense? Yeah. Yep. Even though we're coming in sideways Got and the it. kidney shape is there, yep. you want to come in. So it's two different things. If you want it here, it's pretty much across the middle of the green. Exactly. You're gonna, you, you don't have to do the configuration well, like that. Well, what we did for, for our measurement, you might right. want to think about this. We went from this way right down the line. The veteran Raiders also helping to teach the others. In this particular case, the elevation <laughs> is zero. Uh, uh, well, you, you do it in increments yes, of 10. So if it's up 10, you put a plus 10. If it's down 10, you bid a minus 10. The other thing you kind of do on the T is just kind of look at the, the hole and look for things that you're going to be, uh, I mean, is there out of bounds, is there any water, the bunkers, fairway bunkers, just to kind of pre prepare yourself. No mounds that I can see from here. Maybe we have to go closer up there. All sorts of obstacles to consider. What did you rate the, the goose droppings? Should I do that as a joke? Psychological. Then a chance to go inside and discuss what the rating teams came up with on the course. I'm here to preach that the system's about averages, so try to average out your adjustments where you're, you're not all totally convinced that it's the adjustment. That's when we kind of say toggle back and forth. If everybody's convinced we need to apply it, well then go ahead and apply it. Give it, take it away. You know, we do that a lot with a lot of our stuff. Par threes, no bunkers in the fairways, uh, whatever you do for depth. If you pump it up one for depth, you're taking it back. So there's some give and take. And at the end of the day, a wealth of course rating knowledge had been passed along. I'm Don Coyne reporting.